Hey, it's Logan Christopher from Legendary Strength, and received a question regarding pressing and pulling, specifically uh, doing vertical pressing and pulling like pull-ups and handstand push-ups or pressing barbell overhead, a bunch of different ways to do it, and vertical, uh, or excuse me, horizontal, so doing something like a bench press, push-ups, also inverted rows, dumbbell rows, all sorts of different things. And do you have to do all of these things in order to keep your body balanced? The human body is not balanced. It's just, that's not how it is. Think about it. You do things with your right hand you can't do with your left, or vice versa if you're left-handed. One eye is usually better than another. Your strength usually isn't equal. If this gets overboard too far, then yes, that, that's a very, that can be a bad thing. That can lead to injuries, all sorts of problems there. So you don't want to go too far with it. But it's natural for the body to be imbalanced, and who's to say what sort of balance there needs to be between your vertical strength and horizontal. Is it a good idea to do both these things? Yes, but they don't need to be done at the same time. In fact, you could just do vertical pull-ups, you know, just do pull-ups, not do handstand push-ups, not do push-ups, not do rows, anything. You could do that for a while and you'll gain strength. At some point, it'd be good to switch to work these other patterns of movement because that's what they are, but it doesn't necessarily need to be done all at once. So, just to give you an idea, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a pull up and a little bit of a short setup, but you got the body rope here. So, it is good to work these things in some sort of balance, but I actually find that. Uh, even though pull-ups and handstand push-ups go well together, if you attack them with the same sort of uh, vigor, then you're not going to get the best results you possibly can because you know a lot of the same musculature is in use with these movements. So if you make one a priority over the other, you're going to be able to go that further. Then later on, switch it up. So yes, you do want to do all these movement patterns along with things like hinging movements, lunging movements, squats, twists, all sort of things. They are human movements, but you don't need to do them all at once. Just rotate what you're doing over time, and you'll get great results going that way.